Welcome to WatchNut TV and another edition of What's in the Box. Today we're reviewing a really nice Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore Chronograph. Uh, one of my favorite movements of all time is in this watch. Uh, as an aside, I've been stealing pickup trucks for years now keep, and I keep hoping w one of these will drop out of the sun visor, but it just hasn't happened and I'm going to have to give up on my theft to pay more attention to really trafficking in watches and not trying to steal them from other people's trucks. So, All that notwithstanding, uh, we're going to take a look today at an Audemars uh, Royal Oak Offshore with a, with a lot of wrist presence, and I think you'll see why here as we go forward. This is probably one of the most striking versions of the Offshore that I've had a chance to see. Uh, the orange dial combined with the orange strap are really quite amazing. And uh, on the one hand you think, well, yeah, it's almost gaudy, but no, it really, it comes off very well. And it's, uh, it offsets the strap and the dial primary color nicely with the uh, dark and sub dials. Um, this is a reference 257700ST. Uh, it is housed in a 44 by 14.4 roughly millimeter case. Uh, this particular watch came to the market in 19, I'm sorry, 1919, yeah, right, 2003. Um, and it contains the caliber 2226 2840 movement, which is a venerable uh, workhorse of a movement for Audemars, and I think one of the best chronograph movements anybody's ever put in a watch case. It has uh, 54 joules, believe it or not, and a 40-hour power reserve, and uh, it's really quite a quite a nice piece. The um, one thing I love about Audemars watches, let me see if I can get this apart for you to see without doing myself any damage, is just the if you take a look at the deployant strap itself, and I'm probably going to have trouble getting it to focus given the reflections from the metal. But it is a, Audemars uses their initials to create both sides of the class. And it really is kind of a, it's a, one of those nice little touches you expect from Audemars, which is kind of traditionally part of their watchmaking history. But I think, has been, I've been a fan of this for many, many years now. Um, the watch is really uh, a very nice piece. It is seen somewhere. Uh, the case itself is pretty much in mint condition. Um, the clasp is in mint condition. The strap shows some signs of wear at some of the holes, but I think if this were my watch, I'd put a orange hornbacked alligator strap on it to really make it pop. And, uh, Anyway, one of the one of the great chronographs from one of the best Swiss movement makers and watchmakers in the business, and you don't often get a chance to see them. And I hope you enjoyed the review. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. 